Hi everybody, this is Joe Montana and this uh, pre-calculus lesson is on radical equations and inequalities. I think this is an easy lesson. As you saw this in Algebra 2, I believe. Let's first do the board problem. Uh, solve uh, the first one, 1 over 2x minus 1 plus 1 over x plus 1 equals 3 halves. Okay, what I'm going to first do is multiply by the common denominator. This 2 is a part of it, this x plus 1 is a part of it, and this 2x minus 1 is a part of it. So I multiplied everything by each piece and that's going to get rid of all the denominators and you multiply everything else on top and um, you're going to clean it up, distribute that 3 through and you get that. Now I didn't do it, I should have divided everything by 3 I went ahead and factored it right there um, but if I had divided by 3 it would have been easier you guys. You're going to get the same answer right here. You get x equals 1 or x equals negative a half. Uh, again I should have divided it by 3 to get three, uh, uh, 2x squared minus x minus 1 and that would have factored also. You still would have got the same answer right there. Uh, I didn't catch that till later. Okay here's number 2. Okay on this one um, this is uh, we need to find the critical numbers and before we find the critical numbers we have to set it equal to 0 so I subtracted 3 from both sides then I'm going to multiply this by the common denominator x plus 2 over x plus 2 and, and then I'm going to go ahead and clean up uh, that numerator and I get that. Okay, now I'm going to factor that and then all my critical numbers are all the zeros in the top and in the bottom. So 5, negative 1, and negative 2. Then I make a number line with 5, negative 1, and negative 2 um, and then I test all the regions. Here's 5, so I'm going to test that region. Here's negative 1, so I'm going to test um, uh, that region. Whoops, I tested it twice. I only needed to test it once. 0 wasn't a critical number, but I, you still get the same answer right there, no matter what, right there. Test that region, test that region, and I'm looking for the ones that gets me less than 0. So this is less than 0, this is less than 0, um, and then, um, uh, oh, that's not less than 0, sorry. This region's less than 0, so from here to here is less than 0, and that region's not less than 0. So when I test them, I tested them right here. So I tested negative 3. Negative 3 minus 5 is negative. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative. So I get 3 negatives, and so they, yeah, that's less than 0. I tested negative 1.5 right here. Negative. Uh, this is going to be negative, and this is going to be um, uh, positive. Negative 1.5 plus 2 is positive, so that's not because um, uh, I get two. If you have an even amount of negatives, that's a positive number, so that's not less than zero. So I tested all the other regions, so I want the ones that are less than zero. So there's my final answer on that. Okay, and then uh, finally de decompose this guy into partial fractions. Okay, uh, this denominator factors to x plus 5 times x minus 4, so I'm going to multiply everything uh, to x plus 5 times x minus 4, and I get that right there. Now I'm going to get rid of um, a by letting everything, by uh, letting x be 4. Plug in 4 right there, 4 right there, 4 right there, and then the 4 minus 4 is 0, cancels out. And I'm left with 9b equals 27, so b equals 3. Then I'm going to take this equation now and get rid of b by letting x be negative 5. So let's get uh, a by letting x be negative 5. So when I get put in negative 5 right there, that gets 0b, so that goes away. Negative 5 minus 4 is negative 9. Negative 9a equals negative 18, so a equals negative 2. Okay, so then there's my partial fractions right there. Um, uh, a equals 2, b equals 3, and then so there's the final answer right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, take care of this radical equations and inequalities. Okay, so let's solve this guy right here. Okay, before I do anything, I want to isolate this radical right here, so I'm going to subtract this 3 and put it over here on this side. So I get uh, x minus 3 equals that radical. Now I'm going to square both sides to get rid of the radical. Don't forget x minus 3 squared is x minus 3 times x minus 3. And you foil out those guys, you get x squared minus 6x plus 9. And then when I square a radical, it makes uh, the radical disappear. Okay, now I have a quadratic equation. I'm going to subtract x from 6x, which is negative 7x. I'm going to add 3 to 9, which is 12, to make it equal 0. Factor that, and you get 4 or 3. Okay, now you have to check these answers right here. So I'm going to check x equals 4, and then check x equals 3. I want to make sure they check out because sometimes these little rascals don't check out so you can't use them. Okay, so 4 checks out. Well, I'll plug in 4 right there and right there. 4 minus 3 is 1. The square root of 1 is 1. So 4 equals 1 plus 3 and then check 3. Plug in 3 in. 3 minus 3 is 0. The square root of 0 is uh, uh, 0. 0 plus 3. So both of them check out. So your answer is going to be 4 or 3. Okay, let's try this one right here. Okay, I want to get rid of that 3. 
So when I get rid of the 3 right there, uh, I subtract it off and I get 7 minus 3 is 4. Then I'm going to get rid of the negative by dividing both sides by negative 1. Okay, now to get rid of a cube root, I cube both sides. So I'm going to cube uh, negative 4 is negative 64. And then to cube root that, uh, uh, cube that cube root, it gets rid of the, the radical. And so negative 64 equals x plus 11. So x equals negative 75. And then we're going to go ahead and check. And negative 75 does check out, so, so that's okay. You'll find out here, I think, coming up, uh, one or some of the answers don't check out. Yeah, in fact, uh, this one's going to do that. All right, this one, um, i got to isolate one of the radicals. I already have one of the radicals isolated, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to square this side. When I square this side, this is like a binomial. This is like x plus y, and i got to do x plus y times x plus y when I multiply those out. So when I square it, I just wrote it twice because i got to foil this side out. So here, over here, it gets rid of the radical. Okay, over here, i got to go 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times uh, this radical gets me uh, 1 root 2x minus 12. And then inner times inner, I get another 1 root 2x minus 12. So it gives me 2 of the root 2x minus 12. And finally, last times last, this radical times this radical just gets rid of the radical right there. Okay, let's clean that up. And then, um, uh, so I combined like terms, 1 pl uh, plus negative 12 is negative 11. There's my 2x right there. Then I'm going to uh, subtract 2x from x, and then add 11 to that one, 1 right there. And I get um, negative x plus 12 equals that radical. Now I have the radical isolated. I wouldn't divide by 2 right there. I'm going to go ahead and square both sides right there. So you don't want to get a fraction and square it. So I'm going to go ahead and square both sides. Uh, and then so I've got to foil that left side out, and I get x squared minus 24x plus 144. When I square this side, i got to square the 2, which is 4. i got to square the radical, and it gets rid of the radical, but now i got to do 4 times 2x, 4 times negative 12, and I get that. And then I'm going to make it equal to 0. Okay, so subtract 8x and add 48 to both sides. All right, now this one took me a little bit. Factors of 192 are um, uh, 8 and 24. All right, so now I get x equals 8 or x equals 24. So let's check x equals 8 up here. So I'm going to plug in 8 plus 1 right here and get 9. The square root of 9 is 3. Over here I plug in 8. 2 times 8 is 16. 16 minus 12 is, uh, is uh, 4. And then when I plug in uh, uh, the square root of 4 is 2. 1 plus, um, uh, let's see. Uh, 1 plus 2 equals 3. So 8 checks out, but 24 doesn't check out because I end up getting 5 equals 1 plus 6, and that's not true. So the only answer is 8, you guys. 24 is called an extraneous solution. All right, let's try this guy, okay? going to square both sides. And so I get, um, uh, I get 100 on the right-hand side, so x is less than 2.75. Now the only other restriction on this guy right here is... Remember, I can't square root negative numbers. I can cube root negative numbers, but I can't square root negative numbers. So what I have to do is ensure that this inside stuff, 4x plus 5, has to be greater than or equal to 0. So that's my other restriction, and I get x is greater than negative 1.25. So x is between negative 1.25 and 25, or 23.75.